Hi. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another great session. Um, we are here at Tech Jobs France now, Tech Jobs Fair France now, with a video presentation from Sashka Regina. She's an author and speaker and edutainer. Her topic is why aim to build a brand that influences generations. So let's get this started. Um, we played a video for you and enjoy the session, everybody. Hello. Why should you aim to build a personal brand? Why should you aim to build a brand at all? Well, it depends on what situation or where you find yourself at the moment. So you may be an entrepreneur and an entrepreneur, generally speaking, wants or has this innate need to want to leave generational wealth a knowledge that can be, be be built on top of for the next generation and to leave an imprint to leave impact um, to make an impact then there's a business owner whether it's a small business owner a large corporation and they are doing a service to or for the market they have a business for the market, whether it's bricks and mortar, um, it could be a clothing store, a cheap uh, clothing store, it could be the petrol station, it could be, I don't know, what are some other ideas, a $1 store. These are businesses that are providing a service or products for, I would say, pretty much basic needs. Then you have entrepreneurs who are entrepreneurs but are employed by companies. Their mentality is that of being an entrepreneur. And in this mentality, you work independently. You don't want to say you work on an island, but you have visionary ideas. You have a lot of ideas, how to bring them into play. Team building is a big thing for you, so you're not always working on your own. You have passion and excitement and enthusiasm for your profession. You're wanting to master your craft in that, in that profession, but you don't quite want to be self-employed. You don't quite want to go into the direction of entrepreneurship, but also want to, you want to leave an impact. You want to create generational wealth. Now, Depending where you are in the situation, whether you are self-employed or employed, there is a possibility for you to build a brand around yourself so that you're seen as an asset as opposed to just a number. Now, let me explain this. Have you heard of a guy called Bob Iger? Some people have, some people haven't. Now, Bob Iger recently was the CEO of the Walt Disney Company. That was a big shoes to fill. And you can go read his biography in The Ride of a Lifetime. It's really, really good and very, it's inspiring to see a timeline of how entrepreneurship works with business owners in a large corporation and taking over and supporting and building a brand in a new light, in a new perspective, not necessarily as an entrepreneur, but as an intrapreneur, building up human resources or the heart rate of a company, inspiring your employees, giving new opportunities, mergers of different companies and departments, bringing in new partners, outside partners, for example, Pixar Pictures or Marvel, and bringing the collaborations together and how to do that. Now, Bob Iger is a personal brand. A personal brand is someone that has that certain something about them, a certain experience about them, a certain way that they've mastered their craft. How when you listen to them, you can identify with the craft that they're talking about and something that you yourself are aspiring to achieve in some form or manner. That personal brand you bring across in terms of your credibility from your experience and as a leader that's leading from the back and not from the front. And why I say we're leading from the back is that when you lead from the front, you kind of cast your shadow on everyone else behind you. 
Whereas if you're leading from the back, you're helping the people in front of you, you're helping the people that you're leading, your community, your soul tribe to shine so that they get the praise and not you. Leaders are the ones that are able to show you or unlock or help you recognize and acknowledge the exceptionalness, what you have inside of you, the awesomeness that you have with inside of you. And it takes different leaders to speak to different other leaders, that one is not talking above the other, but you're talking with one another, you're conversing with one another, you're connected with one another. Building that personal brand through being a guest on podcasts, perhaps writing a book, co-writing a book, being featured in magazines, being um, the person that, that the magazine or journalist will use as an excerpt from you that you've been saying, being on radio shows, in magazine articles, where you are brought on as a speaker, an international speaker, or asked to be a part or a guest in university lectures or holding workshops together as a guest with someone that is running workshops. Building that personal brand helps a community or your soul tribe identify what's in you. They see it within themselves. And there, there is a, a connection between the two of you. And by forming that connection, it's not based on a product or a service. It's based on a person. Because in marketing terms, people buy from people. And it's not necessarily that the personal brand wants you to buy something, but rather that the personal brand wants to help you aspire, help you see what's within you in order to create general, generational wealth for the next generations. So aiming to build a personal brand allows you the creativity, the space, the audacity to recognize that you are an expert in certain areas and that you're still mastering your craft. But by mastering your craft, the journey allows you to share your experience. And in that process, you master your craft. And in that process, you build a community. You, you attract your soul tribe. You attract the people that are going to learn from one another to change from the inside out, to create change for the future, positive change for the future. Aiming to build a personal brand isn't having the focus just around money, but it's more focused around the community and the soul tribe and building that community up by allowing them to see the phenomenal, incredibleness, awesomeness within themselves by seeing that you can achieve something, they too can achieve something. Now, depending where you are in your particular journey, you may just be studying at the moment. You may be a scholar that is working or employed in a company where you love the profession, but you don't particularly feel that you are wanting to work in this company forever and that you eventually do want to become an entrepreneur. Or you feel stuck where you are at the moment. You've been in your job for a very, very long time. And when I say long time, it could be five years that you've been in your position. And you've done a lot of courses and education. And you're, you've studied further in order to master your craft. You've gained so much experience that you feel at the moment you're hitting a glass ceiling. And how to break through that ceiling, what we most tend to resort to as a solution is then finding a new job. But that kind of just means, which isn't a bad thing to find a new job, but what it kind of means is that you're starting from the beginning again and working your way up. And that up and down and up and down, it, it gets tiring. And what you don't tend to see is that you already have what you need. So you take what you have and what you need and you build on it while still being employed or even as an entrepreneur where you're self-employed and you build your personal brand. You build 
your brand around your personality, your identity, your behavior, your talents, your gifts, your, your exceptional, your phenomenal way that you think, your creative, creative visionary self, your innovative game changer self. Because not everything needs to be connected to a profession. A profession is a conduit in which we are able to shine through, in which we are able to communicate our talents and gifts and our interests and our beliefs and our values, our why and our purpose. And the same goes for our personal brand. Our personal brand is a conduit for us to be of more service to a soul tribe and to a community who are looking for kind of like a mentor in order to inspire that they can aspire to a higher level for themselves, not necessarily see you as a role model, but as someone that can help them achieve what they're wanting to achieve. So I encourage you to consider building a personal brand or aiming to build for a personal brand around yourself. Get to know yourself, get to understand yourself. Where you're pouring all your energy into mastering your craft, which is fantastic. Use that information in order to be a brand that you can become an asset, either employed or you're an asset to event organizers or to speaker bureaus in which you're able to bring your experience and expertise to the table without thinking, I'm not good enough. I'm not famous enough. I'm not enough because you are. You have that special something within you and that special something wants to come forth. And it doesn't always need to be in one particular box the way we always think that it can only be as an entrepreneur with a product or service or employed within a company. You can also do this through being a personal brand. So I encourage you to do that. I encourage you to consider building a personal brand around your experience, your expertise, your personality, talents, gifts, purpose, why, values, and to bring this to the table because there are certain people who are waiting for you to take that first step in order for them to feel or to see that breadcrumb that's within you and follow the breadcrumbs from there and to achieve their greatness. And you, the springboard, so to speak. You're the jumping board where that's going to be happening. So never ever think that you don't play a role in anybody's lives or even in your own. We're all co-creating together. That was a short talk on why I encourage you or aim to build a personal brand or a brand for your business in order to build a community to attract your soul tribe and to build generational or create generational wealth for the future. You can find out more about how I help entrepreneurs, intrapreneurs, self-employed or employed, creative visionaries and innovative game changers to create this brand, to not only just create it, but also implement it, put action on it, get momentum around it and actually make it come to life and see the fruition of it. You can find me on www.brandsashka.com. And if you have any questions, just let me know and I can help you with my Sugu program, which is show up, grow up, or I can help you when you're an entrepreneur with a brand already or a business wanting to turn that into a brand or create a brand, you can contact me around that as well. I'm looking forward to hearing from you and I'm wishing you an incredible, incredible day further. And remember that you're the change that you need to be for the rest of the world and to make that impact and create generational wealth. Speak soon. Bye. All right. So that's the end of our talk today. Um, this was uh, short. Um, unfortunately, Saskia could not make it today. So there is no Q&A. But like she said, feel free to connect. Uh, we've shared a LinkedIn profile. And be sure to stick around for the next talk coming up um, uh, after this one. And thanks, everybody, again. See you around. Bye-bye.